Oh, I'm so excited. So they actually have a step-by-step -step guide, if you like, um, as to how to take the test. So once you have received your box, open it up, it'll look a little something like this. You'll have the micro tube and all this kind of stuff inside, and they actually have step-by-step -step instructions once you register your test, which is what they say to do before you take the test. It takes about 10 minutes, you just answer some questions like how active you are, um, do you take anything, you know, so I had to tell them that I take it's a multivitamin, fish oils, and glucosamine right now. I have a prefer not to say option, but I figured, you know, the more they know, the better, so. Step one, wash your hands, check. Step two, select a finger. Now it says the best location for collecting is the fourth finger or the ring finger of your non-dominant hand. Now I'm left-handed because I'm a freak, so I'm gonna be using my right hand for this. Now this is gonna be interesting because I, I won't lie to you guys, I don't like needles, so if I can kind of get through this, you know, then so can, so can you guys. I'm not a massive fan of needles. I hate having injections. You know like when you go on holiday and you have to have a friggin' massive injection, needles stuck in you? Nah, it's not for me. Step three, prepare the lancelet. Remove one of the lancelets from the bag, twist and remove the blue stick. The lancelet is now ready to use. Oh, okay, I like this. I like that they don't show you a big f off needle because that is what kind of puts me off, you know? Number four pierce the skin. Before we do that, let's actually open the tube so that I don't miss. I'm a little bit nervous, to be honest. Do you pierce like right at the top? Do you pierce like halfway down? Press down firmly, okay. How firmly? Oh yeah. Oh, well that made me jump. That wasn't that bad though. Wipe away the first bit. <gasps> there it is. Come on. Whee. Okay, I think we more than filled that. Let's just get rid of that just because it's dropping off the end of my, edge of my finger as it is, but... I think that's good. I think we're good. You must fill blood collection tube or your sample will be rejected by laboratory. It, that's that's filled, right? They actually said to me, if you struggle to, to fill it, then just to literally do a few jumping jacks, like a few friggin' star jumps, get the blood pumping, which makes perfect sense, get the blood pumping around your body, you pierce the skin, and then boom, it'll come out a lot quicker, theoretically, right? But I, I didn't struggle to fill that at all. That was way easier than I expected. Where's the lid? Oh, no. Found it. I found it. I was sat on it. I was sat on it. It's all good. Place the lid back on the blood collection tube and press down firmly. So it's not a screw top, it's a press. Until you hear a click. Perfect. Invert tube five to ten times. This is vital for the sample to be prepared. Okay. Place the biohazard bag with samples back into it. And let's get... Ch okay. Right, so... This, this page has been very helpful, guys. You get this little booklet on the inside, right? And I, I'm no good with what things are really kind of called. I mean, it's fairly obvious what these things with the blue tips are called and what the tube is called, but with the swabs and all of that, I don't want to get the wrong things, you know? I don't want to get the wrong, wrong name, if you like. So this page actually tells you what everything is, where everything should go as well as having the laptop by my side, or you could just use your phone. Pretty obvious that this is the biohazard bag, is it not? Okay, so, pop that in there, like so. How do you seal it? Okay, take that off like so. Fold that down, like so. And we should be good. Sending it back is actually free post, so the address you have to send it back to and the envelope and stuff, uh, they sort that for you, it's kind of included in the price of the test. Before you send it off, there's actually a, a little sticker on the inside here, make sure you have filled that out, otherwise it will kind of, I don't know, it just makes it a lot easier for the guys at the lab, I think. Um, but yeah, just make sure you, you fill it in first. Register the test and fill it in on the lid first, otherwise it's kaput.
it's literally the date you took the test um, and your date of birth, but they need to know. Pop the test back in there like so. You have to post it off straight away, which is actually very good because I am now going on my way to have a haircut. And so I'll just stop off um, at the post office on the way. And job done. <laughs> that, was, that was way easier than I thought, I won't lie. I wonder if in the test they will recognise copious amounts of white monster in the blood. <laughs> we shall see. So, before we go any further with this, um, I am going to go full Greg Doucette and say I am not a doctor. Um, I am just a guy who is interested to learn a little bit more about his body. This video is purely for entertainment purposes. It's me finding out my results and sharing them with you guys. It's literally that simple. And I can get you a discount if you want to get involved with it too. So, I'm going to post mine off right about now. There is a post box up in the corner there. So, I'm literally going to stick it straight in there because it is free post. And then crack on with my day. And that's that. On we go. Our little snack. Mm. I actually kept this same wrapper for the past like five days for the purpose of this video. Is that bad? Nah, no, that's not bad. The effort I go to for these videos for you guys. So, the test I did was the Advanced Male Hormone Test. It tells you testosterone levels, sex hormone binding globulin levels, prolactin levels, estradiol levels, and free androgen index levels. Now, this is all from the app, as you guys can see right here. Okay, the Let's Get Checked app. They have their own app. That was pretty cool, right? Open it up, and your results will be right there after it's been a few days and all this kind of stuff, okay? Let's just go back to the home screen so it actually looks like I've not fully prepared this. It says some issues, okay? And um, I'll be honest, that, that worried me. No one likes taking tests like this in the first place in case the results are actually bad, and, and I was worried that that was going to be the case in, for, for me. It says some issues, but I mean, it's really not as bad as it looks. So you can actually request a call from one of their team of doctors and nurses. Um, I don't know, I can't remember the name of the person who I spoke to, um, but she was actually very, very helpful and helped me understand why my, my results were what they were and how they affected me, really. Other than that, everything was pretty, well, it was normal. It was within the normal range. However, one thing that surprised me was the low testosterone level. I mean, it was within the normal range, but it was really towards the lower end of normal, if you like, which is, uh, it was really surprising. I really don't struggle with, you know, motivation. I don't, really don't struggle with libido or anything like that. Um, sorry, mum and dad, if you're watching this, but that, that, that is the case. It really did surprise me because I've got strong lifts like the overhead press. Um, you know, I've been lifting for about three and a half years now. I, I wouldn't have thought that that would be the case. I was expecting a lot, I wasn't expecting super friggin' high, like top of the scale kind of thing, or over past, so far past the scale or anything like that. But I expected um, better than low average, if you like. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm just your average Joe going to the gym, doing his thing, you know? Um, it really, really, really did surprise me though. Let me know your, your thoughts on that. Did you expect it to be high? Did you expect it to be low? I, I, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments on that. But um, like I say, this was the male advanced hormone test. Um, this is not the only test they have. They have countless amounts of tests for both women and men. Sexual health tests, regular tests, hormone checks, uh, vitamin checks. They're, they're just the ones off the top of my head. They also have PSA tests, which is to do with prostate cancer. So guys, seriously, get on that. I personally will be using this test as my kind of baseline. I've never done anything like this before. Uh, you know, I've only been lifting for about three and a half years. Three, three, I actually don't know how long. Anyway, I'm gonna use this as my baseline test. I'm probably gonna do something along the same lines um, as this test in a few months time, once this kind of dieting phase is finished. Obviously, lower body fat levels can, can really kind of affect your hormones if you like and this is the advanced hormone test um, and so it'll be interesting to see a few a few percentage points lower on body fat 
whether that affects my testosterone, but, well, just how it affects everything as a whole. So I will hopefully be doing further videos or similar to this or along the same lines at least um, over the next few months, especially with the whole dieting phase. I think it could be really interesting. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you feel like picking up a test for yourself, it's a pretty fun thing to do. I, I kind of made a morning out of it, you know, just, it was, it was fun. I enjoyed it. It was really, really actually quite simple. I, I expected it to be a lot more complicated than that. But if you do feel like picking one up, I have a link down below and I have a code. LSJ29, 29, don't ask me why it's not 30 or 20 or whatever, until the end of February. So if you're watching this in the month of February 2020, you can use the code LSJ29. I'll stick it in the description box and you will get 29% off. End of February, that will go down to 20%. So unless you feel like paying 9% more, I suggest you get on that pretty damn quick, okay? So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Go and check them out. I must admit, I was a bit nervous to actually do this, but it was a fun video to make. It was a fun kind of whole experience for me to do. Um, and so thank you to Let's Get Checked for this wonderful opportunity. Although I've not really been training that long, this is something that I've wanted to do for about six, seven years since I've literally been back in college now and I graduated uni a couple of years ago. So anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please do me a massive favor. Drop it a like, drop a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on the whole testosterone results because I'm, a bit, I, I'm surprised. I'm not quite sure what to make of it. Anyway. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope you found something interesting, whether you took some value from it. I don't, I don't know. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. Thank you for watching. Together we will grow. Thanks again to Let's Get Checked, and I will see you in the next one.